Facebook Messenger bots. What are they all about? Guys, today I'm here to talk to you about Facebook Messenger bots. And a lot of people go, first off, Kim, what is a bot? I've heard about bots on Instagram, I've heard about all these different things, like what even is a bot? Now, this is not anything that's new. Really, all a bot is, it's something that automates a process or task. The first ever actual bot was created in like the 1960s, right? So a bots are not new, it's not anything crazy, it's not anything illegal or underground or anything like that. It's just something that automates a task. Right? And if you think about it, we use bots in our everyday life. We have Siri, we have Amazon Alexa, Google Home, all these things that we are starting to use in our everyday lives, your Bluetooth, everything like that, when you jump into your car, that is a bot, it's automating a process. You ask a question and then you get a response. Now, how does that apply to Facebook Messenger? And why would we use it? Well, what we're finding is more and more people every single day are starting to use Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger is now actually the number one most used app when it comes to messaging in, I'll say like the Western world outside of China and things like that because there they've got WeChat and it's very heavy, excluding those. Now, it's overtaken um, normal message on your phone or iPhone by being about 58% adoption rate compared to about 50% for mess a normal messages function on your phone. So it's the most used location and people every day are looking more and more to businesses and saying that, well, I want information 24 seven. My problems don't start at 9 a.m. and finish at five. They happen every single day, right? When my problems come up, I want a response. 46% of people actually want businesses to be able to answer their questions 24 seven. Over 54% of people would rather send a message to a business rather than give them a call. And 56% would rather send a message rather than have an email with a company. So these are all things that we need to take into consideration as to why Facebook Messenger is important and all a bot is, is automating a task or process. And I'll give you a little bit later on some of the tools that I recommend to use to build bots, but to start off with, we need to understand why we need to use them. We need to understand exactly why it is that we have to start implementing them. And there's two real main reasons. The first is that we want to serve our clients and customers. We need to be able to give them access to information at their fingertips, so at any point in time, if they have a problem at midnight, they can get an answer at midnight. If they have a problem at 3 a.m., they can get an answer at 3 a.m. And you don't have to be there. So number one is giving them access. Number two is freeing up our time. So many business owners are spending time and time and hours and hours responding to messages, jumping on there, and they're losing relationship with their families. They're losing their relationships with their partners because they're spending all their nights on their phones answering messages on Facebook, and it just doesn't make sense. So what I wanna to say to you is those two key areas are why you need to start looking at Facebook Messenger bots. Now, a last little bit of icing on the cake there is you can also now use bots to get subscribers. What do I mean by that? Well, subscribers now, same as you have with your email database, your email autoresponder, your CRM, you can now use Facebook Messenger exactly the same way. So if you have a bot connected to your page, everyone that interacts with it, everyone that starts that first message, it allows you to have a captured database of those people. So you can send messages to them anytime you like. You can send auto replies to them. You can broadcast to them. You can send them automatically tying in your RSS feeds, your updated YouTube channel, everything like that. You can send directly to the inside of Messenger. It's so exciting, right? It's really, really cool. So as you can tell, I get a bit excited. So that's possible. But why does that make a difference? I have them on email. Well, email, let's just say you're really good. You have an open rate of, let's just say 30% right 30 percent open rate that's cool and let's just say then people click through let's just say you have two percent and let's try and work some numbers so if you have a hundred people and you send an email out 30 people open and then of the 30 people two percent would click through which is six people so you have six people click through on your email your product or service and your offering not bad now, let's look at Facebook Messenger on the other side. Facebook Messenger, this is crazy, right? Open rates are anywhere from 80 to 100%. 80 to 100%, right? That's three times better, at least on average, two and a half to three times better. Click-through rates are anywhere from 30 to 50%. So that's 10 times. So let's just say that you're making $1,000 a month from your email list. If you start to transition that to Facebook Messenger, right, you can, 
anywhere from three to 10X your income for all intents and purposes, right? If, we, if everything else stays true and everything else works all the way along, you can 10X your income. That's pretty exciting when it comes to that. So those same 100 people, you get 80 to open, and then you've got 30 to 50%, let's work on 30. That's 24 people clicking through from your original t two. That's like 12 times, 12 times bigger. So if you're making a thousand a month, the same process, the same understanding of your business and pushing across that way, that would be 12 times higher. So you'd be making $12,000 a month where you're making $1,000 a month before. That to me is pretty good numbers. Now I'm just gonna go inside, I'm gonna grab a glass of water and we're gonna chat to you about then what the bots are, how you build them, and the tools that you want to use to really allow you to do that too. Exactly what's going on with these bots? What can we use them for? There's a couple of different entry points that I really like to use them, but first of all, I think it's important to know that the full marketing cycle that you have when it's acquiring customers, selling customers, adding value, upselling, cross-selling, getting referrals, that full cycle can all be done inside of Facebook Messenger, which is why I think it's so powerful. So to start off with, you really need to um, know, are you attracting, are you retaining, or are you getting, like, are you sending the clients? They're the three key areas that you really wanna be focusing on using your bots for. Now I'm gonna focus on the very first point here. Um, so if we're looking at attracting, right? We're looking at capturing these people in, looking to bring them in. There's two to three different ways that I'll talk about. One is using your existing clients, but how do you bring them in? So like I talked about before, how you can increase that value that you're getting from your customers. So number one is adding it to your website. If you check out our website, you'll be able to see on there that our contact us page on our page, you're able to just simply click and you're able to grab that, de the, um, we're able to grab their details, they jump in Messenger, they start to interact, it's like an interactive FAQ page and they're able to start talking to us, which is really, really, really powerful in my eyes because I think it works so well when it comes to interacting with those customers. So we're able to acquire them from that point, we're able to acquire them from um, getting people just to message us on our Facebook page organically. They're able to comment on a post or an ad. We can drive page post engagement ads to bring them into our world there also. And if you're a speaker, or you're, uh, and I'll talk about how this ties into the second point, which is your existing customers in a moment, you can also use it to um, show a code, a QR code. People can scan that. So imagine you've done a presentation, you've nailed it, at, you're at the stage, and instead of trying to do something cheesy like getting them to SMS you or uh, getting them to write down a URL so they can opt in, what you can do is you can show them this QR code. They can scan that using their Facebook Messenger, it comes in and you're able to then use that as leverage and you've got a subscriber, you've built them in. Now, if you're a bricks and mortar business and you started to use that as a relationship building tool as well, and you really wanna get people on this list as opposed to your email list, what you can do is you can leverage that part you can use that and have that at your till, have that at your register. So when people are leaving, your customers, people that are buying from you in store, they scan this code, then automatically they jump into your Facebook Messenger and now you have your customers in there. So if you wanna send them something to send them to increase the value of what they're doing, then you now got them as a subscriber because that really, 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 really is powerful. That really, really, really is. And lastly, like I've already mentioned a little bit before, but it's tying into your ads. So you can have a direct messenger, direct to messenger ad. You can have them comment on a post as an ad to acquire them. And for me, in my eyes, that's the best way to bring people into your world. But then you need to look at how you're going to deliver things because I'll be honest, not all people are created equal and not all bots are created equal. Some people don't like Bot. Some people still haven't adapted or adopted the uh, integration with messenger bots and started to play with them. So you need to be flexible with your audience, whether it's just building a subscriber base, whether it is answering FAQs. If your business is heavy FAQ based, I highly recommend it. If your business is heavy lead gen based and you drive them off and you have a phone conversation, I highly recommend using it as a lead gen tool, not necessarily though focusing on using all of the in-depth functionalities, taking them through different um, levels of conversation, because a lot of the time it breaks the rapport with people. They're not used to it yet. But for example, if you're a football club, if you're a sporting team or anything like that, then definitely use them because you'll be able to tie into um, all the data that people want to have access to. But if you're a service-based business, if you're having a bit of back and forth with people, then 
look, I would recommend that. I would recommend um, capturing them and then using that to build a subscriber base to broadcast to, to allow you to have another list somewhere, but not relying too heavily on the full sequencing. Because we've done it sometimes for clients, we've built them out for them and they said, hey, the people aren't interacting properly, they're not really taking us up on this product or service. And look, it's not, I'm not saying that um, it's not going to work, but you need to really think about for your business, if it works. You need to think about for your business, is it going to be ideal? And it's gonna be testing and measuring. And you may have to tweak as you go along. You may think I've built the best sequence in the world as we have before, and then people don't interact with it. That's cool, you've still got subscribers. You're still building, building yourself a solid subscriber base. So that still is a huge, huge positive. So I put it to you that you need to focus on that. You really need to think about exactly how you're gonna go through that process. And if you do, great success, that's going to be awesome. If you don't, you know, why do it, right? You need to test, always test, always be measuring, always be testing. Now, quickly, I'll share the tools, the two tools that we use. Number one is ManyChat. Number two is ChatFuel. They're the two bot building platforms that we recommend and we really love to utilize. Make sure you get the pro versions of them as well so you don't have any of their branding. It's all about you. That's what we wanna see. Now, guys, I hope you found this valuable. As always, if you loved what you saw, you liked what you heard, click like down below, comment and let us know if this is resonating with you guys. If you wanna see more of this, you wanna see less, you wanna see something else, give me ideas. I'm all about it. And of course, please subscribe. If you haven't already, you will be crazy. Make sure you subscribe so you can get new content as we drop it first hot off the presses. Until next, guy, next time, guys, adios.